What is going on? My fellow Hylians, welcome back. Today, we are going to be looking for the remaining memories and gaining the Master Sword. So, our first thing that we should probably do is get some hearts. We're going to be bouncing around because it's going to be a lot of exploration uh, and looking. But I will show you... Oh, there are all the... Um, there are all of the Divine Beasts. I will be showing you anything important that I do. But I may cut around to things that we are just like retreading. So all memories, all shrines and everything will be shown. Uh, but uh, I don't want this to be like a three hour video. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, we're back at the beginning. It's kind of weird coming back here after all this time. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it it, it feels weird. It's, it feels like it's been forever. There's the dragon again! Jesus! How are we gonna fight that thing? You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. I would like a heart container. Yes. I shall grant the power you seek. Nice. I would like one more heart container. Okay. There it is. I don't know why, but that might be my favorite cutscene. <laughs> I don't know why, but that genuinely was so awesome. It's behind the shrine. There it is. Wow, we missed this one? All right.
nothing, just as I thought. Hmm. It appears that this structure was designed to be exclusively accessed by the sword's chosen one. But designs can always be worked around, at least I hope. How do I get inside? I need to activate it somehow. I thought I made it clear that I'm not in need of an escort. It seems I'm the only one with a mind of my own. I, the person in question, am fine, regardless of the King's orders. Return to the castle and tell that to my father, please. And stop following me! That wasn't very nice. That wasn't very nice. Okay. On to the next memory. That really still wasn't very nice. Let's get this spirit orb. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I offer this trial. Drawing Parabolus. Okay. All right. Launch me. That doesn't seem right. That's more likely it. But where did the ball go? Oh. Come on. Here we go. Okay. Can, okay, uh, thank God it opened both of them. I was gonna say, it opened the side one? <laughs> okay. Nice.
your resourcefulness in overcoming this speaks to the promise of a hero. I bestow upon you the spirit orb. Two more. May the goddess smile upon you. There we go. One. Oh, and another. The flowers we have in Hyrule aren't just beautiful. They are also quite useful as ingredients for a variety of things. <gasps> this one here is called the Silent Princess. It's a rare, endangered species. Despite our efforts, we can't get them to grow domestically yet. The princess can only thrive out here. In the wild. All that we can hope is that the species will be strong enough to prosper on its own. Oh, is that what I think it is? Look at this. I don't believe it, but I actually caught one. This delicacy is known to have very, very potent effects under the proper circumstances. Ta-da! <laughs> Research from the castle shows ingesting one of these can actually augment certain abilities. We wouldn't be in a controlled environment out here, but with your level of physical fitness, you'd be a perfect candidate for the study. Go on. Yeah. Taste it. She, she wanted him to eat a frog raw? <laughs> I, I like Princess Zelda as much as the next person. I don't think I would be eating no frog for her though. I'll be I'll be honest. Well maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Here we go. This will let up anytime soon. Your path seems to mirror your father's. You've dedicated yourself to becoming a knight as well. Your commitment to the training necessary to fulfill your goal is really quite admirable. I see now why you would be the chosen one. What if... one day... you realized... That you just weren't meant to be a fighter. Yet the only thing people ever said was that you were born into a family of the royal guard, and so no matter what you thought, you had to become a knight. If that was the only thing you were ever told. I wonder then, would you have chosen a different path? Obviously, the princess is not very comfortable with the position that she's in, and I can't really blame her. The notion that you're born into it is a pretty strong one. You know, 
You're, you definitely are, a, a, at a certain degree, a product of your environment. So if you've been raised to be a knight, uh, and at least at the very minimum raised in a supportive manner, you definitely will be a knight, and probably a really, really good one at that. But I can understand the hesitation that she feels. I don't want no problems, buddy. Oh, Lord. On it, you got it. You got it, buddy. You're done for. I couldn't beat you earlier, but I can beat you now. Oh, Lord. Lionel Horn. The Lionel this horn once grew upon surely misses it. <laughs> it's exceptionally hard. So hard that most blades can't scratch it. Throw it into a stew to make an elixir. Lionel Hoof. This rare ingredient can only be obtained by a Lionel's foot. It's larger and heavier than a horse's hoof. It's useful for making elixirs. Lionel Sword. Lionel made sword was designed with smashing in mind rather than slicing. Lionel Bow. Five shot. Lionel Shield. You know, I wasn't going to bother the guy. Honest to God, I wasn't. But he had to be, uh, you know, he had to be that way. And when you're that way, you, you, get, you get treated that way. Now, where is this memory? There it is.
Well, don't keep us in suspense. How'd everything go up there on the mountain? So you didn't feel anything? No power at all? I'm sorry now. Then let's move on. You've done all you could. Feeling sorry for yourself won't be of any help. After all, it's not like your last shot was up there on Mount Lanayru. Anything could finally spark the power to seal Ganon away. We just have to keep looking for that... thing. That's kind of you. Thank you. If I may... I thought you... well, I'm not sure how to put this into words. I'm actually quite embarrassed to say it. But I was thinking about what I do when I'm healing. You know, what usually goes through my mind. It helps when I think... when I think about... Wasting time. We're gonna need everything we got to take that thing down. Now, champions, to your divine beasts, show that swirling swine who's boss. Link will need to meet Ganon head on when we attack. This needs to be a unified assault. Little guy, you get to Hyrule Castle. You can count on us for support, but it's up to you to pound Ganon into oblivion. Come, we should go. We need to get you someplace safe. No. I'm not a child anymore. I may not be much use on the battlefield. But there must... There must be something I can do to help. That has got to be the best, the best one so far. Not my favorite, because my favorite is still the one that we saw earlier, but the best one so far. All right, we got three memories left. All right, let's go find them. All right, we got company here. This is a oddly shaped location. Ooh, this is the spring that Princess Zelda was talking about. You've done well to find this spring. Offer Dirail scale received from the red spirit to to the spring of power. I, goddess Hylia, will guide you. What is that? Is that a dragon? All right, we got another memory. I come seeking help. 
regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Prayer will awaken my power to seal Ganon away. Or so I've been told all my life. And yet, Grandmother heard them, the voices from the spirit realm. And Mother said her own power would develop within me. But I don't hear or feel anything. Father has told me time and time again, he always says, quit wasting your time playing at being a scholar. Curse you. I've spent every day of my life dedicated to praying. I've pleaded to the spirits tied to the ancient gods. And still the holy powers have proven deaf to my devotion. Please, just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? I genuinely feel for the princess. Not in the same exact way, but in that... In that, in that idea that you're just like, come on. I can't figure it out. I can't crack the code. Please, just someone give me a sign. I get that. I do. It's also interesting that they, um... They're guarding this place. Making sure that it's, you, no one can get in that easily. In the spring. I think the only thing you can really do in those regard, in that regard is basically... Let go. Stop trying to find the answer and let the answer find you. Which is not easy. Especially when you're desperately trying to find that answer. Bombs and stuff. Aww. Pardon me. Where did she go? Where did she go? If you're looking for Lady Riju, she's on the second floor. Normally people aren't allowed into her sleeping quarters, but she has given you permission, it seems. Be on your best manners. If she deems you to be a disturbance to her, it will not end well for you. Alright. Hey, how you doing? Remember when you wouldn't let me up here? I'm up here now, buddy. My lady. I've been waiting for you. Oh, you needn't say a word. As the chief of the Gerudo, I can sense the power of the heirloom flowing from you. I know that you succeeded. I am, as you have no doubt noticed, still but a child. Yep, I was going to see. Yep, that's true. The people look on me with nothing more than warmth in their eyes. But even this brings me some pain, I must admit. I've tried so hard to be worthy of their love, to be a worthy chief, and to prove to myself that I was worthy too. When my family heirloom was stolen... I felt as though a shadow had fallen over me. Yes. Your arrival in the midst of all of this must be the work of Lady Urbosa. Now, please give me the helm. Hmm. How do I look? Uh, I mean, you, you, uh, you know.
Wait, 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 wait. Are these springs revitalizing? They are. I, I, I wow, okay. That's awesome. I'm going to stay in here until I'm 100%. Gut rock. Oh, these are the Gorons. Hello. <laughs> Feel the burn, brother. This hotness here is a training ground for many Gorn men. We climb this cliff like nothing to prove our grit. If you've got the guts in that tiny belly of yours and talk to my big brother Goro on top and prove it. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, that must be the guy. Let me get my, uh... Let me get my proper clothes on. We're talking to a Goron, we'll talk to him in business. How you doing, brother? Show me you got the power. Pump it up, brother. By the gods, love me some muscle. What? This right here is a hardcore training ground, String Bean. This is where we come to get ripped and shredded. This is where my Goron brothers and Goron men, brother. Uh, please move. I ain't moving the muscle, brother. Not a single well-defined muscle. This is a special platform. Sacred, even. Only real Goran men decided by us to read these Goran brothers are allowed. Besides, my littlest bro is in the middle of training right now. A brother does not interrupt a brother's training, brother. <laughs> but I gotta say, you do seem like a real man of action. Almost like you have Goran air about you. I like that. So what are you waiting for, brother? Get training. That's it. If you can clear the hardcore training program, I'll move out of your way. Count me in, brother. <laughs> ha, good answer, brother. We're showing straight pieces of you, little man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let me tell you the explain. Ah, um, uh, hold on. Simple as a deadlift, brother. The rules are dead simple. Start from the bottom. You got to climb up here in the time limit. But don't fool yourself into thinking we only climb. Little man, you got to pick up the rupees as you go. Get up the cliff in the time limit, grab a passable number of rupees, do that, and you pass the test. If you run out of time, decide to give up halfway through the climb, we'll have to return all the rupees you picked up. That's life, brother. If you're going to push you past your limits, your physical, mental, and emotional limits, enough messing around. Time for the hardest part. Good chick chant. Oh my god, he's going to punch me. Almost forgot. Nope. I gotta pay him. <clears throat> All right. A hundred rupees as you go. If you reach the goal before the time runs out, if you don't grab enough, you fail. Don't fail, brother. Got it? Good. And it's finally time for the Gut Chick Challenge. <clears throat> go. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Move it or lose it, Link. Oh, that's one rupee. Who cares about that one? Ah! All right, this ain't gonna be that easy. Okay. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Come on! Alright. We goofed in the beginning, we got this.
Maybe we should get some lighter clothes. We got this. We might not got this. We got this. Come on. Yeah, we got this, we got this. We can take our time with the rest. 20 rupees? 100? Skip that one, who cares? And eh, we'll grab it, who cares? Drop. Goal! That was glorious. Nice going, brother. Now let's see how many rupees you scored. Looks like you got 122. Unbelievable. You passed our training with the grit of a true gorm, my brother. In fact, you've earned the right to call yourself the fourth gorm blood brother. As promised, you're now allowed to stand on the... Uh, yeah, okay. A real honor, I know. You're officially one of us. One true gorm brother, brother. Welcome to the family. And good news, fourth brother. That means you can do the gut check challenge all you want. As a Goran blood brother, you're ready for the hard stuff. Just let me know if you're pumped enough to try it. Okay. <laughs> the guy's a little nuts, but we appreciate that. We can appreciate a bit of a bit of a nut job every now and then. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think there was going to be a You yeah, by entering this place you've earned your you've proven your worth. Yeah. I assumed that when we did that one, it was over. I'm like, they're not going to force us to do another challenge on top of that challenge, right? Wow, okay. Great Frostblade. I want it. We got the Fireblade, and now we got the Frost. Hell yeah. A hero rises to right the wrongs. I bestow upon you the spirit orb. Got number three. May the goddess smile upon you. You've got to be kidding me.
That cut doesn't look too bad, actually. You're fine for now. But you know, there's a fine line between courage and recklessness. As brave as you are, that does not make you immortal. It seems that not only is the frequency of these types of attacks on the rise, but the scale of beasts we are facing is intensifying as well. I fear that... I fear that this is an omen which portends the return of Calamity Ganon. And, if that's the case, I'm ready to expect the worst. We'll need to make preparations as soon as possible. Did my man Link really take down all those monsters? God damn. Alright, we gotta get more shrines done. We don't have too many around the field. Ooh. We got to get this shrine. That way we can fast travel here when we need to take down Ganon at the end. It's a fight. Okay, it's a minor fight? All right. Wow, really it is. Wow, okay. Really? Is this the arrow or the spin? Yeah. I'm not wasting a bomb on him. Ouch. Royal Halibard. I'll take it. Wow, they're not really good. All right, time to get our shrine. And we have one memory. Your triumph over the test of strength subverts the prophecy. I bestow upon you the spirit orb. Back to 100%. Thank God. Yeah, 
Impa. Mm. I sense it. Their presence. Daruk, Urbosa, Rivali, Mifa. A hundred years ago, I put my life on the line to fight alongside everyone. Oh. But I could not protect them. They died without fulfilling their destinies. I have lived all this time thinking they died in vain. But this energy I feel from their presence. Ah. It seems they have not given up. I can also sense that they were all overjoyed to see you again. Oh. Now, you all serve the same purpose. Now, it is time to attack Calamity Ganon. While he is weak, hurry to the princess. Go now. Oh. I believe you will find Calamity Ganon in Hyrule Castle. Even with the blessings of the Divine Beasts on your side, you must be careful. Calamity Ganon will be protected. Be prepared for anything. Okay. Let's get our heart container. You have conquered the shrines and claimed the spirit orbs. Give me our heart container. Yes. Heart container. Thirteen. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Let's get that master sword. My man, talk to me. Shakalaka. My Korok seeds, I'll expand your inventory. Let me get a weapon stash. Three Korok seeds. Deal. Expand a band band weapon stash. Uh, can you give me another shield? Nah, I can't afford it. Goodbye, my friend. Alright, it's time for the Master Sword. Your master will come for you. Until then, you shall rest safely here. Although the slumber of restoration will most certainly deprive him of his memories, 
Please trust me when I say that I know he will arrive before you yet again. If I may be so bold, what is it that you are planning to do next, princess? The Master Sword. I heard it speak to me. It seems that my role is unfinished. There is still something I must do. I sense there is great strength in your dedication. Great Deku Tree, I ask of you, when he returns, can you please relay this message? Tell him I... Now then, words intended for him would sound much better in the tones of your voice, don't you think? What you just saw happened where you stand 100 years ago. After you were separated from the sword, the princess thought to bring it here, where she knew that it would be safe under my watch. She continues to fight, trapped deep within the confines of Hyrule Castle. Her heart cascades with faith that you will return. She has a smile like the sun. I would do much to feel its warmth upon me once again. The Master Sword, the legendary sword that seals the darkness. Its blade gleams with a sacred luster that can oppose the calamity. Only a hero chosen by the sword itself may wield it. Hmm. That blade has a name. It is the Master Sword. When used against Calamity Ganon, or those tainted by his malice, it will become suffused with holy light. At such times, the true power of the sword will manifest. But be warned, do not rely too much on its power. If you wield it without need, its power will become exhausted and it will no longer be of use to you. Should this happen, you must wait for the sword to recover. <laughs> it was your partner a century ago. Use it with care and wield it bravely for the one who waits for you. We have to save the princess. She has a silent princess. Read Zelda's research journal. Today, 
I met with Impa of the Sheikah tribe and began my research into the ancient technology in earnest. Impa, Impa introduced me to Pura and Rabi, other respected members of her tribe. Tomorrow, I embark on an excavation with them. We hope to find ancient tech with which to operate the guidance stones. Today we uncovered some ancient technology that we can believe, that we believe may have the power to control the guidance stone. It is a rectangular object, small enough to be held in my two hands. Shika text is featured prominently on it. It is made of an unknown material, but we believe it is the same as the shrines scattered across each region. Impa proposed that I hold on to it for now. I hope that it leads to some new developments in our research. The stone relic we discovered has been named. We are calling it the Sheikah Slate. We have not found any mention of a name for this object in the records we have unearthed so far. Nevertheless, Pura insisted we call it the Sheikah Slate, as the relic is a slate made by the Sheikah tribe. Feels a bit on the nose to me, but it was not a fight I thought I could win. We did it. We are finally able to restore some functionality to the Sheikah Slate. We have discovered that this stone slate is capable of producing images, a perfect likeness of the things you point it at. Unlike normal pictures drawn by hand, this requires no artist to capture anything in perfect detail. I deeply admire the accomplishments of Sheikah technology. Still, I know there is more to learn. There must be. We believe the Sheikah Slate may have a function that will allow it to control the Guidance Stone. We must continue our research, and quickly. We have started training the champions who will pilot the Divine Beasts. It may sound rude that I found this unexpected, but Mifa mastered the controls with surprising ease. Daruk struggled at first, but eventually got the hang of it. Urbosa and Rivali both managed just fine as well. I can finally see the light of hope in our fight against the rising calamity. Robbie has restored mobility to many of the guardians we excavated. But we have still yet to find all the guardians. Records mention a greater number of them, and even other types. They are said to be stored in five giant columns that rest beneath Hyrule Castle. The thing is, no matter how I research beneath the castle, I can't seem to locate these columns. They must be buried deep. We, were they perhaps designed to sense the appearance of Calamity Ganon and to only activate upon his return? Countless ancient structures are being discovered across Hyrule but all attempts to enter them have failed. Records indicate that these are facilities designed to train the hero who is fated to combat the Calamity. But the crucial activation mechanism remains a mystery. Is the Sheikah Slate the key to activating them? That is Pura's theory, and I concur. And yet, my experiments so far have been fruitless. Still, we must exhaustively es we must exhaustively es We must exhaustively investigate all means of opposing the calamity. We must not give up no matter what. I spoke with Pura about the Shrine of Resurrection we discovered earlier. As we speculated, this particular shrine is in fact a medical facility with the power to heal. It also has a long-term stasis function that can be activated and maintained until healing is complete. In the war against the Calamity 10,000 years ago, were the injuries so great as to necessitate such a facility? If so, I will remain uneasy until we have made all adjustments necessary to restore it to full working order. I can only pray that even if Calamity Ganon returns, our battle will not require the Shrine of Resurrection's power. Well, we know what happened with that. And here is our final memory.
incredible. We're at a point now where we can actually control them. At the current rate, we'll soon know all we need to know about the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. And should Ganon never show itself again, we'll be well positioned to defend ourselves. What are you doing out here, Zelda? I was assessing the results of the experiment with the Guardians. These pieces of ancient technology could be quite useful against them. I know that. They are essential to Hyrule's future, and our research demands that we keep a close eye on them. However, as the princess, you currently have a crucial unfulfilled responsibility to your kingdom. <sighs> Let me ask you once more, when will you stop treating this as some sort of childish game? I'm doing everything I can. Uh, I'll have you know that I just recently returned from the Spring of Courage, where I offered every ounce of my prayers to the Goddess. And now you are here, wasting your time. You need to be dedicating every moment you have to your training. You must be single-minded in unlocking the power that will seal Calamity Ganon away. I already am. Don't you see? There's nothing more I can do. My hope. My hope is that you... that you'll allow me to contribute here, in whatever way I can. No more excuses, Zelda. Stop running away from your duty. As the king, I forbid you to have anything to do with these machines from this moment on, and command you to focus on your training. Do you know how the gossip mongers refer to you? They are out there at this moment, whispering amongst themselves that you are the heir to a throne of nothing, nothing but failure. <sighs> it is woven into your destiny that you prove them wrong. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. You found the location of all 12 pictures. All right, time to report to Impa. Having, having seen all of the uh, memories. I now understand why Zelda is the way that she is. Um, there is so much pressure on her to do something that she just can't figure out. And we saw it in the diary. The fact that Mifa picked up the Divine Beast really easily. Link is sort of just rolling on through what his destiny is. While Princess Zelda is having understandably a little bit of difficulty because hers is not pick up the sword and fight it's something from inside that she can't figure out I empathize with her I hope that she's able to get it. I hope she's able to crack the code. I think she has been able to. Where she will. Impa. Hmm. Ah. So the sword has been returned to the rightful owner. Heh. <laughs> Just as I expected of you, hero. The sword that seals the darkness is your counterpart. So long as that blade is at your side, 
You shall wield enormous power. The princess risked everything for you and that sword. Do not forget that. And do not waste this chance. Ah. By the way, how are you faring thus far? Hmm? No. All 12 pictures are ready. You visited every place. Oh. Then I suppose it's time. I will reveal the location of the final memory. There's another memory. Lady Zelda gave me specific instructions. She asked me to wait to show you this. Yeah. This is the final picture. Does it look familiar? From this village, you should be able to get there in half day's time. Now go, child. Seek out what Lady Zelda has shown you. There it is. So he can... He can still be saved? Princess! Huh? Princess, are you alright? Take Link to the Shrine of Resurrection. If you don't get him there immediately, we are going to lose him forever. Is that clear? So make haste and go. His life is now in your hands.
Let's finish this.